He's a great player. Um, <clears throat> you know, big spot, really hunting a the pitch there, and and obviously destroyed it. But um, you know, he's he's playing well. Um, you know, obviously the flexibility he's given us this year of being able to bounce between second and short as well. Um, just really proud of the player, the the all-around complete player that he continues to grow into. When you use Canely, Adovino, Britton, and Chapman, you guys are 22-0. and 0. How much of a weapon is that to have it to go to? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, those guys have been great for us, obviously, all year. Um, you know, to be able to kind of pick your spots between Otto and Canely, depending on the matchup, 6th and 7th. You know, <clears throat> it looked like for a while there that, you know, Pax, after a long first inning, uh, had a chance to get deeper in the game. But then, obviously, that, that fifth inning was a challenge. So, um, <clears throat> you know, we were committed to, to, to going to our four guys today in that kind of situation, and they delivered. A lot happened in this game. Sixth inning, Mabin strikes out on a questionable call. And then, for lack of a better phrase, all hell breaks loose. Can you explain why, in your mind, things escalated and, and what happened there? Yeah, I mean, you know, <clears throat> I thought... Just in that couple innings, you know, obviously we, you know, we objected to to a few calls, um, and you know, yeah, I start in there not wanting to get one of our guys if I can out of that game, but you know, had some issues where I felt like you know something may have affected another, might affect Paxson being in that game, so just voiced it, um, and and then I was inside already when when. Um, all the guardy stuff happened, so um, not much more than that. Um, you know, obviously, I think it got taken too far um, with with sending guardy out of that game again. But um, look, we're we're playing for a lot right now, and you can feel that with all our guys, man. We're we're in this thing to <clears throat> we're playing for keeps. You don't see something like that happen very often in a baseball game. I know you say you had kind of left the dugout at that point but mm -hmm. what's your take on kind of how for a brief period of time even sort of how ugly and contentious it got out there yeah um obviously don't like that um i think in this case uh, look at in in kind of talking with guardy and watching it back you know i think it's clearly something that they were probably looking for with us and i you know i hadn't received any memos or anything that that's illegal guardy was saying nothing again other than hey this is a spot in the game we're fired up we're playing for a lot and a lot of you know that we get a little passionate in that dugout in spots and guardy i don't think was doing anything more than that dan to the left oh, i was gonna add, so you have not gotten any word that he can't do that with the bat no are you concerned at all that that umpires are going to start looking for things since you know you've you've had more than a few of these? Uh, I mean, incidents? it felt it felt a little bit like that happened today. And look, it it is our job too to you know play under control and and you know as best we can not um, you know cross cross lines because certainly we don't want players getting kicked out of games. I don't like getting kicked out of games. Um, but you know what? When you're playing for a lot, sometimes and um, you know, we're, we're locked in like we are, you know, sometimes in the, in the heat of battle, you get a little passionate and, and it can spill over a little bit. Back to, oh, I'm sorry, Eric, to the right. Aaron, it's not against the rules to, uh, hit the, the roof of the, the dugout, but umpires have mentioned it a couple of times now when Gardy's done it. And I think Iasonia mentioned it in mm -hmm. Toronto, like you said, that clearly played a, a role today. Is that something where you just need to tell guardy don't do it anymore well yeah i mean if if that's going to be something that gets us thrown out of the game or you know who, you know who's to say we we get a big hit and we do that i mean look part of what makes that group special right now is is again what they're playing for and and how they come to play every day and you know sometimes you know that they're they tow up to the line a little bit and and there's an edge that we're playing with right now so um you know, we'll we'll certainly um, work close closely with the commissioner's office and 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 find out what's acceptable and not, and and try and um, certainly be respectful of that, and and try and do a better job of staying in the game. That. 
Gardner's been a guy who's obviously played his entire career with a lot of intensity, but also a lot of decorum. And this seems a little different for for him. I mean, is that odd to you as well? That just I mean three times in the last now what you know a couple of weeks that that, that the same incident does it kind of seem a little strange to you? Again, I, I go back. We're playing for a lot. Gardy's been around a long time. He's you know he's part of the hunger that exists with this group, and you know sometimes that shows itself in in different ways in a passionate way but you know even with Gardy today you know I think he wasn't angry or it, it, he I think he was very much under control and just in a way getting our guys going a little bit because obviously um, that was a heated part of the game and um, you know I, frankly I think it got escalated because they came looking for it Justin to the right Aaron, just back to Glaber, has he exceeded your expectations with his power? Um, I, I, I wouldn't say that, no. I mean, he showed us power last year. Um, you know, we've, we've watched him these last two years. You know, he's got the ability to, to obviously hit the ball out to all fields, which lends itself to being able to hit for a lot of power. He's obviously very strong. Um, he, his his the ground force that he creates in his swing um lends itself to 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 power um you know he's got one of those balls that you hit and it seems to go a little further than you think it's going to go and and i think that's because the power is real and have the last two days reaffirmed to you anything about your team as far as winning tight games against good teams yeah i mean you know i hope that doesn't get lost in this today is these last two games have been very well played against two really good teams and um, a lot of big plays. Um, it's been a lot of fun to be a part of. Dan, to the left. Uh, Glaber said, I guess, to Jack that he's worn those sunglasses a couple times now. Is that something that do you know anything about? Uh, no. I, I mean, I've seen it, obviously, and he, he broke them out uh, the other day in batting practice and um, he seemed to adjust it well to him. And just on uh, Paxton, we've asked you a lot about yeah. the first inning, and today was another one. I, I, you know, I guess if you had answers, you would be doing them? Or yeah, okay. I mean, it's something that, you know, we've worked on all year. Again, I go back to, and, and today was a little different, but I go back to, I, I also think the first inning hasn't been nearly like the results have been. I feel like he truly has been a little bit unlucky, a little unfortunate in the first inning. Today, I thought he struggled a little bit in the first inning. You know, didn't have his curveball right away, lost the leadoff hitter, then Mercado jumps him there. Um, so I thought it took him a handful of hitters to kind of get settled in with his command and everything. Um, I, I think that's been, I think today was a little more atypical than what we've seen. Um, but obviously he righted the ship and I thought he pitched really well. And, you know, if he gets a call here or there, I think he has a chance to really get deep into that game. But um, I thought overall he threw the ball well. Christy. Uh, you said that you think the umpires are now looking for this situation with Brett or with you guys. How do you address that going forward so you're confident that this isn't something that'll be a problem for you? We will. And, you know, we'll, we'll be, you know, we've already, you know, talked amongst ourselves and, um, you know, try and make sure we're playing um, certainly with an edge and with the passion that, you know, I, I love about this group, but also making sure we're, you know, trying to stay on this side of the line and you know keep guys in the game we don't want to lose guys in, in the course of a game and it's something that we'll also try and work you know with with the commissioner's office as far as just um you know you know also trying to be as respectful as we can and we'll have those conversations um with the commissioner's office as well just i guess in the immediate do you go out and say something tomorrow before the game or to the guys that to, you've just dealt with to the umpires no, no, and um, no. We'll we'll uh, we'll CC going tomorrow, and um, we'll come and hopefully uh, finish off what's been a good homestand. Take uh, one more. Did you have a question? Okay, thank you, Aaron. Thanks.